col colorectal cancer is a number two cause of cancer death in the United States, and it can be preventable by having a colonoscopy. So we think it's very important for patients to learn about the procedure and then have it so that they can prevent having a cancer down the road. Um, anybody over the age of 50 is recommended to have a colonoscopy. Um, there's certain groups of patients where actually it's recommended to have a colonoscopy before the age of 50. And that would include anybody who has a family history of colon cancer. So I know there's a lot of patients who put off having a colonoscopy. In fact, if you look at in the United States, adults between the ages of 50 and 75, only 65% are up to date with their screening for colorectal cancer. So I find that a lot of times people put off having a colonoscopy because they don't know a lot about the process or maybe they've heard something negative from somebody. So I think what's most important is not only to talk to your primary care physician about it, but also to have a consultation with a gastroenterologist. And there you can get the facts, you can get a little bit more information about what it entails. And I think this sometimes alleviates people's fears. In addition, I have a lot of patients who came to me after they had a family member or a close friend who they trust tell them that they went through the procedure and it really wasn't that big of a deal. So I think just talking with healthcare providers as well as friends and family can just help alleviate some of those fears and help alleviate um, some of the fears of the unknown. So for a colonoscopy, uh, patients do have to do a prep, and this requires diet restrictions the day before the procedure, specifically being on a liquid diet, and then the night before the procedure, they do have to have a preparation. When patients come in for the colonoscopy, they will get sedation, which we call a twilight sedation. And because patients get sedation, most often they won't remember the procedure and most often won't have much pain, if any at all, during the procedure. Now afterwards, patients might feel some gas, discomfort, but that should be resolved within a couple hours. So I have a lot of patients who would prefer to have a, a colonoscopy from a female gastroenterologist, and I think it's just more based on comfort because it is a procedure where um, you do have to, it's a little bit more intimate and um, I think it's a, definitely a patient preference whether they go to a female or a male, but I have a lot of patients who if there wasn't a female gastroenterologist available, they probably wouldn't have even had a colonoscopy.